back to my channel so today is going to be a little really really short vlog so if you're ready for that stick around for the rest of the video <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, I look a little different than I usually do in the rest of my videos. Um, that is because I just got out the shower a little bit ago and I'm about to go to sleep after this because it's not late, but I ain't doing enough for the rest of the day. So why get cute and I'm about to go to bed? But um, so yeah, that's why I look like this. And I just want to basically update you guys on what's been going on in my life. Not that anything has been going on. But, you know, just what I've been up to today and this week and all that. So today, I um, I went to my aunt's house in the country or whatever. We went to go see her new house because she moved or whatever. And so we got to see how she decorated and all that good stuff. And it was really pretty. So that was fun. We got to see all of her land. We seen some horses and cows, all that. Obviously, you in the country. So we seen all that. Um, it was cool. I think going to the country is nice for like fresh air and just seeing animals, nature, all that. But to live out there, for me personally, nah, I ain't doing all that. So she can have fun with that. <laughs> but I mean, the house was nice and everything. Um, yeah, we played some pool. I got to play my mom um, in one game. And it was a long game because both of us, we started off real rocky, like real bad. And I haven't played pool, like I'm, I'm only 23 years old, so I'm still pretty young. And I've only played pool like twice in my life, which was a long time ago. So when I play it today, I'm like, oh snap, like I forgot how to play. Like, cause besides those two times I've ever played in my life, it's been like, you know, the phone pool, and that's not real, you know what I mean? That's not the real deal. But we got to play a game, it was a long game. At the end, I had one ball left and she had three balls. Then it was the eight ball on the table, which you know, you saved that for last. So I could not get my last ball in and my mom couldn't get her three in. And then finally she hit one ball and then she started, like she hit all the balls and ended up hitting eight balls. She won the game and I'm like, oh, so that was your, your tactic. You trying to save your best for last. So she ended up winning the game. Um, And then my cousin played her and he won. He played my stepdad, he won him. Like my cousin won my stepdad and then my uncle played my cousin and my cousin won my uncle. <laughs> and that was a good game. That one was close, but my cousin ended up winning all of them. Um, and then we left whatever because it was getting late. Because y'all know now it was cold outside. You know, it's winter, so it's getting dark fast. So we wanted to drive back home before it got too dark because it's like an hour drive. And obviously in the country, you know, it's fears and stuff out. So it was an hour drive. So we wanted to drive back before it got dark. Um, that was really it for today. Um, other than that, because I woke up this morning and I got ready and everything, made breakfast, and then literally left out the house at 11. We didn't get to buy her house until 12. And then, yeah, we stayed there until 4. We left at 4, got back home at 5. I came straight in, made dinner, ate, took a shower, and ate some cookies and stuff and now I'm making this video. Yesterday I cleaned all downstairs, like my entire apartment, I cleaned all downstairs. Like, I was talking about clean, like bleach, pine saw, like everything, like the cabins, uh, the outside of the refrigerator, the stove, microwave, all that, like inside of the cabins. The only thing I didn't clean is inside the refrigerator and stuff. So I'll probably do that someday this week and I didn't get to do upstairs. But the only thing that's upstairs is my bedroom and the bathroom. So it's gotta be quick, but the floor is already vacuumed up here. I mopped and everything downstairs. So yeah, I was busy yesterday. And I'm doing all of that on a bootleg. On, a, I guess, yeah, bootleg. Literally a bootleg bootleg. <laughs> because on Monday, you guys, I was going to the studio with my boyfriend and we were talking like okay we went to the studio and then on the way leaving from the studio it was dark in a hallway not not dark like we couldn't see like pitch black but it was dark and you know we could see where we was going but it was dark but anyway so we walking down the steps and i'm talking i was talking to him about the beat and the song all that down a lot and right in the middle of my senses i just like fell to the floor like i flew to the ground like flew to the ground and 
I didn't even know how I felt. Like, I don't know if I missed. It was only like three or two steps I think I, I missed. I don't know if I, um, like, stepped. You know how you step over a step and you end up falling? I don't know if I did that or if I stepped off the side of the step straight onto the floor because the steps was kind of spiraling. So towards the bottom of the step, it had no more rail or wall it was just you know the steps going onto the floor so i don't know if i stepped onto the floor or over a step i don't know what i did all i know is i fell and my whole foot just went like it flipped obviously when you're walking down the steps you're walking forward right so i was walking forward but somehow when i fell i ended up like on my butt like that's how bad my foot twisted and it's so crazy because all all of that week, which was last week, wait, no, I hurt my foot Monday that just passed. So the week before that, I was talking at work like, yeah, I never hurt my, my like none of my bones. I've never sprained anything. I've never uh, broken, fractured, anything. Like I've never even as much as jammed a finger or a toe, none of that. Like I've never shattered my elbow, no, nothing. Like, I've never hurt myself really bad. And they like, wow, really? I'm like, yeah, like, I've never had a chicken pox. And I thank God, I'm not trying to jinx myself, Jesus, but I've never had a chicken pox. I've never had the flu. I have never had, a like, the baddest cold or sickness I've ever had is a respiratory infection. And I've had that three or four times, like, four times. That's the worst sickness I've probably had. And maybe, like, the stomach bug or something. Um... But I have never gotten like really, really super sick, caught anything crazy, like nothing. Thank, like I said, thank God. So then literally, I'm telling them all that over the week, right? And then that Monday, I ended up like hurting my freaking foot. And so I swore, like I know I didn't break it because I know like my bone wasn't popping out. I know I didn't hurt that. Like it didn't, like it hurt. It freaking hurt it, but it didn't feel broken. You know what I mean? So I'm like, maybe... I just sprained it or fractured it, but I know I, I know I hurt it. I know I effed it up because I fell hard. Like I twisted it really, really hard. And immediately, like when I fell to the floor, my boyfriend was like, oh, like boo, you okay? And he went to go grab me. He wasn't like, mind you, he wasn't that far apart from me. Like we were walking together. So he was on the step behind me as we were walking. But I fell so fast in the middle of conversation that he tried to get to me quick and when he tried to get to me he fell too like he ended up falling down the steps too and i told this story so many times because everybody every time when they see me what happened to your foot what happened to your foot so i gotta keep telling the story so it's not as funny now but and it won't funny when it happened because it hurt it but when i was telling the story like when i thought back on it uh the next day and later on that day i was like laughing to myself like damn like how you fall too like it was just funny but um yeah i fell so fast and so hard that he tried to grab me and he ended up falling too, but he like slid down the steps on his butt so he didn't hurt himself. But my ankle was like tore up, it was hurting so bad. Thank God I wore sneakers and I didn't like, you know, like I said, mess it up too bad, but it hurt it so bad. I got like hot all over. He tried to like pick me up and I was like, no, 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 just please like leave me. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like I couldn't get up, I could not stand on my foot at all. It hurt it so bad. I got super hot, I got nauseous like immediately. And I was like taking off my jacket. I was like, oh, like I can't, I can't hurt too bad. And so I finally got up, but I was like hopping on one leg or whatever. He took me outside. I had to sit on a step while he went to go get the car. And he had to end up driving it up. And he had to end up driving us home because like I couldn't stand on my foot. I couldn't like, it was hurting so bad. And I just kept on saying the whole ride home. Like, how the F did I do that? How did I do that? How did I fall? How did I hurt my foot? Like, I just kept thinking that to myself. And if I hear anything in the background, it's my TV. Because I got my TV on. But, yeah, I was just like, oh my God, the whole ride. And I, like, the whole ride, I'm like making noises. Like, oh, like, oh my God. Like, oh, my foot. I was like, oh my God. Like, moving around, trying to get comfortable because it hurt. So, anyway, I got home took my shoe off seeing that my foot was swollen and it looked at like uh not really really bruised but my veins were like where it was swollen at my veins like at the top of my foot was like poking out like it was fat because I, I guess I twisted it so hard so I'm like I slept with it elevated that night I'm like it'll be good in the morning like I'll be fine this is Monday so then Tuesday I got up and I was like I'm going to work like you know I could not walk on my foot it hurt it so bad so I ended up 
calling out of work and I try to go to the doctor, which normally like I wouldn't go to the doctor, but it hurt it. And I'm like, shit, I'm gonna have to, ooh. I'm like, I'm gonna have to go see if I really hurt my foot because I can't walk on it and I need to go to work. So um, I went to the doctor, x-ray tech wasn't in. So I just wrapped my foot myself, kept it elevated, went back the next day, then got an x-ray. They didn't see any fractures, nothing was broken. Like they said it wasn't even thick on the x-ray like they didn't see anything thick where it could have been um sprained so i'm like what the what did i do to my ankle then because it hurt it so bad i'm like like am i just a punk like what did i do to my ankle but he was like he saw like physically that it was swollen and then he seen on the x-ray too that it was swollen as well like i guess uh maybe my muscle or my tissue was swollen i don't know it's still a little swollen now but he was like yeah I definitely see some swelling um he was like you probably just really really bruised your bone and you know like you probably just rolled it really bad and I was like yeah because it hurt and he was like pressing on it and you know twisting it and stuff it didn't hurt when he was pressing it until he got to like a certain part and twist a certain part and I was like whoa I was like yeah and he was like yeah okay so long story short I got a boot that I'm walking around with and so that's why everybody is like oh what happened to your foot? What happened to your foot? Da, da, da. Today it doesn't look as bad. Um, but it is starting to get a little bruised now. Um, it don't look as like bruised bad now. Maybe I'll insert a clip of how it looked yesterday, but it does like I can walk on it and stuff, it's fine. But whenever I try to like if I lean on it or twist it a certain way, then it hurts. But I have to wear the boot for three weeks and do little ankle exercises and stuff like that and then go back for a follow-up when my three weeks is up um gotta wear the boot anytime i'm active and walking around but i can take it off obviously for a shower and when i'm sleeping and stuff like that and i gotta keep my leg elevated for the swelling to go down but to show y'all this is the boot it's looking crazy because i just stuck it but this is the boot um I shouldn't be touching the bottom but yeah this is the boot um my first boot ever and it's really heavy y'all it's heavy to work to walk in um i didn't know how annoying it would be to walk in but yeah that's the boot i can't wait till i get it off because it's annoying that's what happened to me so all week i've been wearing that um and i don't know about y'all like i said when i got really hot and stuff like just be imagining in my mind like how hard do you have to like have you ever thought about when people get black eyes and stuff right how hard do you gotta get hit in the eye to get a black eye because i've been hit in the eye with like a handball i don't know if y'all know what a handball is it's like literally the size of your hand it's a little small blue handball and you know you toss it back and forth like catch basically i've been hit in the eye with that like it covered my entire eye socket and i didn't get a black eye <laughs> like <laughs> I have been hit hard and I have not, like, and I thank God, but I have not got a, I got a black eye before, but not from that. And I got hit hard with that. The time I did get a black eye was because it was, like, inside my eye. And I'll do a story time on that if y'all want. But, yeah, I got a black eye before and I was really little. That was the only time. But I be thinking, like, damn, like, I twisted my ankle so hard to the point where I got nauseous and hot. How did I not sprain it? How did I not break it? How did, like, how? How hard do you have to really, like, mess yourself up for something to seriously be wrong? Like, that's crazy to me. Like, and like I said, I don't know if I'm a wimp. I do know that I don't have high pain tolerance because I don't do well with pain at all. I do not like pain. I'll try to suck it up, but I do not like pain. Like, the worst pain that I've put myself through is maybe my um ear piercings i got my tragus and then inside uh pierce inside this little bone right here and that mess hurt it like that hurt it like when the man was doing it and, and i don't know if it's because he was pulling it but when he was doing it and pulling it to like twist the cap on i was like following him like ah, 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 ah. like it hurt i was cursing and everything like that hurt it um this didn't my tongue piercing did not hurt everybody's always like oh that didn't hurt i'm like no like this hurt it my tattoo, I only have one, and that hurt it, but it was tolerable. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, tattoos are tolerable. Like, it was tolerable. It hurt it, but it was okay. The most part that hurt it was this, but everything else was okay. It was just like, ooh, but it was cool. I can't stand, like, stomach pains. I hate stomach pains. I'm like, Lord, what am I going to do when I have a baby? Because 
I do not like stomach pain like at all if I like I'm okay and I'm just chatting y'all but I'm telling y'all I'm all off topic but I'm just telling y'all a story but if I see blood like my own blood I don't know I get nauseous and sick is anybody else like that like if I see somebody else's blood or on TV like I'm fine it's cool but if I hurt myself and it will not stop bleeding like oh my god I've had two two occasions like that where I've cut the inside of my pinky and like I seen the meat like I cut it deep and I almost passed out it wouldn't stop bleeding I was dizzy like I had to lay down I was, probably should have went and got stitches but I didn't um, I had another occasion where at work I like slid my finger in the drawer or something. I don't know what I did, but all my skin, this shit pulled back, bleeding like crazy. I had to sit down. Like everybody at work, not everybody, but my friend at work was like, cause she was right there when it happened. She was like, you need to lay down because we got a little bench in the girls' bathroom. And I was like, just give me a second. Just give me a second. I had to sit down for like five, ten minutes. Like my head was spinning. So. Yeah, I can't do <laughs> I can't do a lot of pain and blood because I'll be like I feel sick and like dizzy, like my tongue get cold, like I, I I've never fell out before, but I imagine that's what it feel like right before it happens. So yeah, but I'm just chatting. I just wanted to show y'all or tell y'all because I didn't show y'all anything but my boot, but just tell y'all what's been up with me and update y'all on a little bit of stuff. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if y'all wanna hear story times or just have more little chats like this let me know and i will keep them coming so yeah i will see you guys next sunday and i'll probably have something a little bit more fun for y'all next sunday i just wanted to sit down and like i said update y'all so see you next sunday i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and share these videos comment down below what else you want to see bye